a simple shoe life now. What's up guys, thanks for clicking on the video and welcome back to the channel. It's winter here in the UK, temperature is about 4 degrees at the moment and tonight we're expected to drop down to about minus 1. Everything's wet over but obviously I've got a raised bed and Trey is in the hammock so Everything's all good in that department. I've just got everything ready now out of our bags, just set up to you know where we want them at hand so we don't have to look around for stuff in the dark because it's about to get dark in about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. I was saying to try earlier, most of my weight in my bag to be honest is Toby's things. You know, I have to bring a big canister of water because he drinks about three, well, two and a half litres when we come out. He goes through water like it's going out of fashion. Uh, he's got his big army Swedish blanket down here in the corner, which I'll show you in a moment. And that probably weighs the most out of anything in my bag, you know. So yeah, guys. Stick around, man. I'm going to go on a nice little wood run. Try and warm up a little bit. It's quite cold. Where's the drone right above us? <laughs> awesome. Okay guys, so it's starting to go quite dark now to be honest. I've done a little wood run, should last us a few hours to be honest. But it doesn't bother us doing a wood run in the night, we've got torches and stuff like that. Just gonna have a little whiskey and relax for five minutes now. What do you think of the base camp Baz? It's nice man. It's good is it? Man? It's good to get away for a little bit. Get in touch with your spiritual self. For real, man. Connected. Mm-hmm. Damn right. Kids, if you're watching the video... <coughs> Woo! <laughs> if you're watching the video, drinking is not cool, man. <laughs> Unless you're out in the woods and it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Well, that makes a big difference. <laughs> But yeah man, it's going to be a good night. It's a shame we haven't got a little bit more light to video us cooking, but I've got the little lantern. Trey's got his torch and stuff, so we're going to do our best to get some video footage. Not that we have anything spectacular to eat. <laughs> I think we've both got noodles. <laughs> both eat, we're both eating noodles, but you know. You've got to watch that weight, boy. you got to watch your weight. <laughs>
finally got something on. <laughs> we had to wait for the rain to knock off, man. Just kept putting the fire out. It's gone out quite a bit now, but we've still got some good embers, so I'm confident we'll get it back alive. Sorry, buddy, you can't have none of these noodles. They're too spicy. He's had a big jumbo on for his dinner. It's like about that big. He's a good lad. Lots of meat on there for him. Just hope the rain stays away through the night, to be honest. We'll see. We shall see. Super noodles for the wing, guys. Yeah. Years ago, when uh, I first started bushcraft, when we did overnighters, etc., I used to take like pff, tins of beans and pff, bloody big bottles of water, food, steaks, meat, and all the time I just found that it was just weighing my pack down, you know. But the times we were out for just one night, it makes sense to just bring a pack of noodles, you know, which weighs absolutely nothing at all. You know, packs of noodles, uh, those those packs of rice that you just boil your water, put the rice in. You know, bring two of those, two packs of noodles, and you know, a pack of nuts, and you wouldn't even feel the weight in your bag. But you've got like, I understand it's not very good for you, but end of the day you gotta do what you gotta do to survive man you gotta do what you gotta do to survive <laughs> oh. it's hard in the bush man temperature's dropped oh hello buddy <laughs> hello job hello mate I don't know if you can see me properly but we got absolutely battered by the rain. So, we've got a lot of the fire on now. And what we're gonna do is just set up our beds ready. So we don't have to mess around in a bit. And try come to the decision that the fire was just too hard to maintain in the rain. It was coming down bad, man, and it's just literally knocking the fire out every 10 minutes. So we thought we'd just get into our pitches, get warm. Toby's over at the bottom by my feet in his bed. He's comfy as anything. He's got a sleeping bag lying out and a big Swedish military blanket. So I'm sure he's going to be fine tonight. Morning guys, rain through the night, I've stayed 95% dry, there's a few little touches that I need to do on the shelter, I think where the bark slid off at the top, the rain just got through, uh, to be honest I'll be the best bed out of all of us I think, it was proper cold, it tucked in down the left at the side of the bed, yeah it's, it's too wet, I was going to have a fire and uh, get a brew on but we just decided that the struggle we was having yesterday on how wet the wood is, it was pretty pointless. So I think we're just gonna pack down our gear now. Yeah man. See you on the next one. Peace.
but also I'd like to take a few moments guys to just wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stay safe out there guys, thanks for clicking on the video and showing all the support, I really am grateful for everything and again, have an awesome holiday and a Happy New Year. See you next time guys.